this list will cover some of the best teen movies available on Amazon Prime right now. Number 10, Then Came You. The movie features a strong cast, including Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones and Asa Butterfield from Sex Education. So in this movie, we have two main characters. It is Calvin and Skye. Calvin is a hypochondriac, and he believes he's going to die of something sometime in the foreseeable future. He checks his temperature every day. He has a mole on his chest that he's convinced is cancer. He even goes to therapy sessions meant for people who actually have a terminal illness, and that's where he meets the Skye, and she has cancer, and she's definitely going to die. So is that Skye is about to die, and she makes her bucket list and she wants Calvin to help her and Calvin is opposed because he's a very introverted person. He's not outgoing and Skye's the exact opposite but Calvin flips his switch and he's ready to help Skye with her list. It's a pretty beautiful movie with two likable leads. Number 9. My Best Friend's Exorcism this movie is perfect for those who enjoy watching horror movies. My Best Friend's Exorcism is an intriguing horror film that follows the story of best friends Abby and Gretchen, who grapple with an otherworldly demon that takes up residence in Gretchen's body. This takes place in the late 80s, and this is based on the book by Grady Hendrix. Abby and Gretchen go to a cabin one weekend with some other school friends, and the girls stumble across this creepy-looking abandoned house, and while in there they experience some very odd imagery with creeping shadows, and then some freaky-looking things, and the girls then get freaked out and as they're trying to leave the house, Gretchen gets attacked by an unseen entity, and that's where the strangeness really begins. The idea of friendship is also a central focus of the narrative, and there's a creepy element, and there's also a mean girl's vibe, as well as some comedy. Number 8. A Girl Like Her this film tackles the subject of being bullied in high school, but does it in a weird strange kind of uneven way, using found footage from the students themselves and a fake documentary crew who is filming the school for another reason, but becomes part of this big story as two girls who were once friends, getting this major situation of one of the girls bullying the other girl, and the girl that's getting bullied attempts suicide and is now in the hospital, so we get to see all of this through the found footage cameras and the documentary cameras. This film is very important and definitely needs to be seen, the performances by both the leads are outstanding, with Lexi Ainsworth's portrayal of Jessica being particularly impressive. Number 7. The Outcasts 2017 The Outcasts follows two girls Jody and Mindy, who are kind of outcasts, they're kind of nerdy, and they are getting bullied by the typical kind of mean girls, and they just thought they want to change their status. So how do they do this? Well, the plan is to unite all of the different types of outcasts people within this school, while also discovering the power of friendship. In the end, two girls prove that being an outcast can be an advantage, and that with the right attitude and determination, anyone can become a popular in success. The movie features a talented cast, with its relatable storyline and positive messages message. Number 6. Palo Alto it's about four teenagers who sort of drift in and out of each other's lives. April is very thoughtful and she's the shy typical girl and she's sort of got a crush on Teddy, but Teddy doesn't quite realize it. He gets involved with Emily, but Emily's really in love with Teddy's pal Fred, but he's unhinged and a bit crazy and he's going to get everybody into trouble. And also April has a crush on her soccer coach played by James Franco. All four of these characters are really interesting and cool. It has a real handle on what it's like to be a teenager. Palo Alto is a well-crafted and poignant exploration of teenage life. The the movie features strong performances from its talented cast. Number 5. Sayla and the Spades the movie centers around Sayla, and she's in her senior year of high school. At this private school, there's like a social hierarchy, and there's different groups that classify themselves as factions. They all offer different things and different experiences, when that is just harmless fun or some illegal things, and there's some rivalries between a few of these groups. Sayla is the main character, and she's definitely a character who you focus on the most in the film. She looks harmless, she sounds harmless, but she is this ruthless, power-hungry criminal. Lovey Simone, the person who played Sayla, did a solid job of this character. 2019 Sayla and the Spades is an enthralling coming-of-age drama. The movie is visually stunning, and this film is sure to leave a lasting impression. Number 4. Extracurricular Activities the movie follows high school student Reagan, who has a side job arranging the accidental deaths of fellow students' parents. A cop detective notices this student is connected to all the dead parents. As the film goes on, you begin to understand what's going on and who is behind it and the character's motivations. Reagan has ambitions to make the world a better place, but in his mind this means making the world a better place by murdering his fellow students' parents upon request and for a profit. And Reagan stands out from other serial killers in cinema. He's not psychotic or sadistic. He doesn't come from an abusive home or is dealing with some trauma. He's not even someone who takes any pleasure out of his kills, which overall makes him fascinating. 2019 Extracurricular Activities is unique, and it stands out from other films of the genre. Number 3. Catherine Called Birdie 
This is based on a 90s novel. The movie follows a young character, a teenager named Lady Catherine, and her family wants her to be married, and she is still young. She doesn't know what a marriage or relationship is. She has really no interest in all of that. She is rebellious, and she's trying to ruin all the plans of anybody who is coming to try to marry her. So seeing her plans in place and seeing how she's trying to ruin all these plans, it does provide a lot of hilarious moments here. And Lady Catherine is such a likable character. She does feel like a character that is in a medieval setting, but also the way she goes about her feels very similar to characters to date. Lady Catherine is played by Bella Ramsey, who you might recognize from Game of Thrones and The Last of Us. She is really enjoyable in here. Hey, just a quick heads up, if you haven't heard of the new apocalyptic series The Last of Us, you should definitely check out this video, link in the description. Number 2. Words on Bathroom Walls this one is about a high school senior struggling with schizophrenia, and new experimental treatment will help him navigate high school and his relationships, and we take the place of his psychiatrist, where he then speaks to the camera, and we're just listening to his innermost thoughts, his fears, everything that he's struggling with unfettered and unfiltered. We get to hear his thoughts on how he deals with his diagnosis, and these one-sided conversations are a great way to narrate everything that's going on. Charlie Plummer stars as Adam the one who is suffering from schizophrenia. He does a really good job, and Adam also has three additional manifestations that he sees and hears. Each has a unique personality and flair, and it makes them a lot of fun. All three really bring a good dimension to Adam and what he's experiencing. They also give a really good voice to his struggle. This is a great movie, and I think they confront the topic of mental health and schizophrenia, in particular with dignity and respect. It gives us as an audience a good look at what it could be like to deal with this. Number 1. Perks of Being a Wallflower It's about a socially awkward high school kid played by Logan Lerman. He's very obscure, he has no friends, he had not the greatest childhood, and he runs into this group of kids Emma Watson and Ezra Miller, and gets a lot of adolescent discovery, and it's a basically a coming-of-age tale for someone very young, and learning what it's like to have friends. The movie is very clever, also there are secrets and twists throughout this movie that are very well hidden, and it's a very pure film. It just feels like this is definitely something that can happen to any kid. The performances of the three lead actors are outstanding, and their chemistry together is very natural. The movie looks great. The dialogue is very fresh. It's touching. It has a great sense of innocence and childhood pureness in it. And The Perks of Being a Wallflower is a moving and heartfelt film that resonates with anyone who has ever felt like an outsider. Well, this is it. What's your favorite teen movie on Amazon Prime? Let us know in the comments.